At this point in the field season, summer is kicking into full gear, and reptile activity is starting to really ramp up. While my surveys specifically target snakes, I often find other ectotherms hanging out in similar habitats. Well, it's not a snake, but it's still pretty cool. This, I think, is a female yellow-bellied slider that has come here to lay her eggs. Now, as you guys might know, sliders are actually an aquatic species of turtle, and most of their lives are spent in the water. However, they will come on land during this spring nesting season to find a suitable location to dig a hole and deposit their eggs. Now, obviously, we're not going to disturb her. We're going to let her lay her nest, um, but she'll dig out a hole. She'll put in probably about a dozen eggs, and they'll sit there for the next two months or so. They'll incubate, and then hopefully, if a predator doesn't dig them up or anything like that, the baby turtles will hatch, and they'll run and scamper through this leaf litter to the creek, which is to my left, about 100 yards. But that's a really cool encounter. Moving on from my new turtle friend, I discovered that my riparian site for the day was less than optimal. Well, the habitat at this site is pretty interesting. It's just basically a giant seasonal floodplain, but I wouldn't exactly call it a tourist destination. <laughs> the parts of it that aren't covered in green look like this. And then, you know, there's just dead animals lying around. Poor raccoon. I'm gonna venture to say that this site has not been sampled very frequently. Maybe there's cool snakes. As I inspected a sunny hillside adjacent to the swamp, I spotted movement among the leaf litter and was amazed to find a pair of courting black racer snakes. It's always rare to observe snakes interacting with one another in the wild simply because of how cryptic they are, and courtship behavior in particular is hard to capture as a result of its limited seasonality. Okay, we're gonna leave them right there where we found them. I cannot believe that we just found racers like that before. I've only seen snake courtship in the wild once, and it was years ago when I made the very first black rat snake video. But that is so cool to see in the wild and on a survey as well. I have the location data, the photos, and the temperature, and all that good stuff. So I'll leave them right where they are. We'll make a loop around them and continue surveying. But that is so cool. Gosh. While I was already satisfied with the day's observations, there was still one more treat left for me at my forest field site. Holy cow, guys, are you kidding me? Hey, 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 hey! Look at this absolute beast of a black rat snake. This thing is massive! I think this is the biggest black rat snake I've captured since Big Bertha. Now, this is one of those species that gets so big that it's very easy for people to be scared of them. I mean, people are scared of all snakes, even tiny little DK's brown snakes and garter snakes. So it should not be surprising whatsoever that a six foot long snake popping up in someone's yard might scare them. However, as you know, if you've watched my videos before, there is absolutely no reason whatsoever to be scared of black rat snakes. Now, ecologically, a large black rat snake like this is also super important. So this is probably one of the largest terrestrial reptiles in this area. And I don't even think that a bird of prey or a mammalian predator would be able to take on a rat snake of this size. That makes this an apex predator here in the Piedmont of North Carolina, where it's preying on a huge variety of organisms, medium-sized mammals like squirrels or rabbits, obviously rats and mice, as the rat snake name would suggest, and then maybe even smaller snakes would be on the diet for a giant black rat snake like this one. But having mature individuals like this in the population is critically important because especially if this is a female, which usually the big ones are, she can produce a ton of eggs. And while the survival rates for baby snakes are pretty low, if you don't have mature individuals like this one producing eggs year after year, then populations of black rat snakes can quickly become locally extirpated. All right, let's get this beautiful animal back in the wild. What a spectacular encounter. Right where we found her. It was awesome. Thank you so much. All right, have a good day. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and I really hope that you enjoyed. I'll see you next time, but until then, stay safe and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Benzino of The Wild Report, signing out.